So Dwight Eisenhower, the uh, first Texas-born president of the United States, was born in this house, in this room actually, in 1890. Denison had 11,000 people, but it didn't have any hospitals at that time period. But according to Ida Eisenhower, the doctor got here too late and found Ida Eisenhower holding baby Ike Eisenhower and probably seeing her room surrounded by other women, the neighbors, who came and helped deliver the baby. In 1946, they invite General Eisenhower to visit. They get the house ready. People in Denison donate a lot of things to put on display. And he visited on April 20th, 1946. Locally, they called it Eisenhower Day. We call it the Big Texas Breakfast Day because that's what the newspaper said he had in the dining room in this house. He was there, he went on a parade on Main Street, said something like 20,000 people came into Denison for that parade. Well, people often ask me what's important about the birthplace that Dwight Eisenhower only lived there for a couple years. I always answer, well, it was important to the people of Denison during World War II, that they started in 1942-43 fundraising, raising the money to buy it. Young men, young people are serving in the military. Some people from Denison are, are dying in the war. So they felt it was really important to get this house. They called it a shrine for General Eisenhower and all those who served in World War II. So our answer is it's important to the people of Denison at that time to preserve the house. And we continue that mission today. I love the setting. I love the railroad history that is of Denison. So the railroad depot, the Red River Railroad Museum, but I like how you can drive around Denison and see parts of the old railroad tracks. I also really enjoy some of the natural setting like Waterloo Park. It surprises people that there's this lake and this trail that seems like you're in the middle of nowhere almost. So I love those kinds of things about Denison. In addition to its other historic features like its main street and the old neighborhoods right next to it. I would say the Denison offers a whole lot to do in one day, probably something for everybody in Denison. <laughs>